With traditional streaming video players, network latency makes real-time navigation impractical. Recent techniques such as Swift, as well as the Netflix and YouTube video players, have enabled real-time interactions by displaying a limited number of low-resolution thumbnail images during scrubbing operations. These techniques work well for short videos, but break down for longer videos where scrubbing the timeline causes frames to skip and flash too quickly to be recognized. Additionally, once the desired scene is found, precisely positioning the playhead slider on the timeline can make selecting the scene difficult. To address these problems, we created Swifter. Swifter displays a grid of thumbnail images while a user scrubs the video to make finding the target scene easier. Users are able to select the desired frame in their traditional indirect way by adjusting the playhead position on the slider, but additionally are also able to choose a position by moving the cursor into the thumbnail grid and directly selecting the desired thumbnail frame. We performed a series of studies to investigate possible design variations within the Swifter technique. We first looked at three methods for scrolling the list of thumbnails. Page at a time scrolling provides the most stable view. The grid updates when the selected thumbnail reaches the end of each page. With row at a time scrolling, the grid updates at the end of each row. And with continuous scrolling, the grid continuously scrolls up and down as the playhead moves along the timeline. In our second study, we investigated the effect of the grid dimensions and thumbnail sizes. We went from a 5x5 five five grid with larger thumbnails up to a 12x12 12 12 grid with smaller thumbnails. For high discernibility target scenes, that is, scenes which are easy to recognize, larger grid sizes performed better, and for low discernibility target scenes, the smaller dimensions performed the best. Based on the results of our first two studies, in our third study, we tested Swifter with an 8x8 grid and continuous scrolling against three existing techniques. Swift, which uses one large thumbnail overlaid on the entire video frame. Small thumbnail, with one small thumbnail image, similar to the Netflix player. And row of thumbnails, with a row of thumbnails similar to the YouTube player. The target scenes were 5 frames and 19 frames in length, and distributed throughout the timeline. And from the video, we chose a low discernibility scene and a high discernibility scene. The results showed that Swifter was faster than the other techniques in all conditions, and decreased completion times by as much as 48% in the 5 frame low discernibility condition. And subjectively, Swifter was the most preferred technique in each condition. With the recent increased popularity of streaming full-length movies, we believe the Swifter technique represents a timely and useful contribution.